Hey beauties, today is my final Halloween video for October 2022 and I am giving you Baba Yaga. Now, first of all, we start with the prep. Now, that just entails cleaning your face ready for some prosthetics and just blocking out your eyebrows with a little bit of glue and brushing the hairs up so they're nice and flat. And then onto the hair. So basically, I took a bold cap, put it onto a polystyrene head, cut the back of it out, made some holes in it, and then painted it with some alcohol paints to make this nice kind of splotchy, purpley red color. Um, I basically just took a sponge and splotched on, splotched, that's a proper professional term for you there, splotched on some purple and red and blue just to give this really nice kind of veiny texture that you see here. Once I was ready to put the bowl cap on, I simply pulled it over my head, pulled the majority of my hair out through the big hole in the back and then pulled little pieces of hair through the little holes that I made in the bowl cap and then simply glued down the edges with some Prosaid. Now onto her nose. All of the prosthetics you see me using here are pre-made. I didn't actually film the making of them, but this is just a very simply made prosthetic. It was made on a face cast of my face and I simply just created it with latex and cotton wool. Um, I just wanted to create a nice distorted nose with a sort of slightly longer tip than my own nose. And I'm just gluing it on with some Pros Aid and then just blending the edges of that latex prosthetic with some more latex and some cotton wool. Because these are very basic, quite crudely made prosthetics, they don't have the thinnest of edges, so that's why I'm doing that here. While you see me finishing off the nose here, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about the makeup itself. Now I base my design very heavily on the Baba Yaga that you see in the 2019 film Hellboy. The makeup was created by the amazingly talented Joel Harlow and his team and played by the equally incredibly talented Troy James. Now if you haven't seen the movie or you haven't seen the makeup, check it out because it's one of the most incredibly beautiful special effects makeups I think I've ever seen in my life. I probably have a very different definition of beautiful to other people but I absolutely loved this makeup from the moment I saw it and I was dying to recreate it and I did and I have to say this is one of my favorite makeup looks that I have ever 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 done and I was just so so pleased with how it turned out. Normally when I do a makeup look I am highly critical of it and you know I'm a typical artist I'm critical of what I do and I find faults but this I just love it I just love 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 it. Anyway back to the tutorial um, so you just saw me there just painting some latex onto my chest which I then rubbed to create these kind of areas of raw skin and then I just stippled on some purple and blue and red to create the same kind of color that we have on the bold cap and then just painted the insides of those raw areas with some red paint. Of course if you're going to recreate this makeup you just need to ensure that you're painting any area that's going to be on show so if you're wearing a costume that is covering your chest and arms then you don't need to worry about all of this detail but I wasn't so I painted it all in. Um, so once I'd done all that colouring and latex work I then went in with a brownie red eyeshadow, a very fine brush and just painted in all of Baba Yaga's wrinkles and folds and crevices and you know just witchy hollow bits on her chest and neck and then once I painted those in I just blended out with a fluffy brush as you can see me doing here. So just keep working on this and blending and you will get a nice kind of realistic effect. Now 
Now, I wanted to go that extra mile with my character. You don't need to do this if you don't want to, but I wanted to create a little bit of distortion in the eye that's not going to be covered. So to do that, I just cut some medical tape into thin strips and used it to pull down my eye. I was also going to use it to pull up my lip, but then I realized that it was covered by the prosthetic anyway. So onto the mouth. Now this is actually a prosthetic that I am reusing from another tutorial. So if you'd like to see how I made that prosthetic, I will link the tutorial below. It was my monster mouth tutorial. Um, so here you see me just gluing that on with some more skin adhesive and then I just go ahead and blend the edges with some latex and cotton wool as I did with the nose. Oh, I also repainted the prosthetic incidentally, um, so the monster mouth one was more flesh coloured. This I just painted with exactly the same colour scheme as the rest of the beautiful makeup you see here. Oh and incidentally I've also blackened out the one eye as you can see and that's simply because I'm going to be covering that eye and I don't want my normal skin to show through prosthetic. I also did the same underneath the mouth prosthetics where I just painted my mouth area in black just so you wouldn't see it through the skin. And now onto the boils. Now again, I didn't actually film the making of these but they're really, really simple to make. You literally just get some clay, any kind of clay, so it can be Play-Doh even and just create a small block of it put it down flat on your table and then get any round ended tool I just use the rounded end of a makeup brush and you literally just push the tool into the clay to create a rounded shape almost like a bowl and I did those in all different sizes and then literally just painted latex into them and that's it and then you just glue them on and blend the edges if necessary with latex and cotton wool right now onto the detailing so I'm literally just stippling on the same colors as I mentioned earlier before which is just reds and purples and blues just to create that really kind of rotten gnarly skin texture that Baba Yaga has and I also decided to make my chin a little bit bigger because it was just not looking quite right and I also created a nice kind of gnarly asymmetric brow on the side where the eye is not going to be covered. Now just taking some alcohol paints and just painting in those nostrils a little bit darker um, and the sides of the mouth just to create a little bit of extra detail and definition and just painting in around those lips because I felt that the mouth was looking a little bit too pale. I wanted to make the lips kind of look raw and almost like it's torn skin even though it's not um, basically I just wanted to make her look as nasty as possible and I think I achieved that also using this kind of broken up texture really helps to hide any edges on more crudely made prosthetics such as these so there's another top tip for you I also use a little bit of yellow as well in the color scheme just to make her look a little bit diseased and just not overly healthy I was happy with the colors I went over the top of those with the foundation now the reason you do this is to make is well one is to marry everything together and two is to kind of make all those colors look like they're under the skin so when you first do it it will look a little bit over the top and it will, it will look like really red purple and sometimes you do want that for a character but with this I kind of wanted her to look like she had a human skin tone but with all these horrible colors and diseased kind of textures underneath so I went over the top with some foundation and then it makes it look like it's under the skin and that just gives some lovely depth um, and more of a professional finish to your look even if you're using very crudely made prosthetics 
Now onto the eyes. So one of the eyes, like I said, was going to be covered. So I went over with some medical tape and just painted that black to hide it underneath the prosthetic. And again, this prosthetic was pre-made just with latex and cotton wool on a face cast. I glued that on, blended the edges with latex and cotton wool as before, and then went onto the other eye while that dried, just using that same reddish brown eyeshadow as before and just painting in some eye bags and a little bit of detailing around the eye and then just painting in that other eye or missing eye I should say prosthetic with the same colours and the same stippling texture as before. Now as you probably gathered this probably is a bit more of an advanced makeup compared to some of the ones that I do on my channel. Um, but I think it's still reasonably easy to follow. Let me know below if you think that I need to give a little bit more instruction for this one. Um, and if the instruction for the prosthetics making was adequate or whether you prefer me to film the making of the prosthetic. I sometimes do and sometimes don't. Um, but I'm always worried that I'm going to make my videos too long and you'll get bored and not watch them. <laughs> anyway, just see me here, here doing the finishing touches, putting some conditioner in my hair to make it look gnarly, painting up my fingers and then just putting a little bit of lip gloss inside the mouth to make it look nice and wet and grungy. And this is the finished Baba Yaga. When you see me, it was an old with one eye and text on it. I hope you love her as much as I do and I hope you found this video helpful if you did please comment down below and let me know feedback is always great thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time bye